beauties and welcome to yet another episode of skincare with asikia iyala of course i'm your girl asikia iyala today i am back with another exciting video and in this video i'll be showing you guys how to make your soap bar and um this video is being requested by some of you guys recently i made a post on instagram and i asked you guys what you would like to see in my youtube channel and some of you requested that i make a soap bar so yeah this is my recipe printed out already and i just want to walk you guys really quick although i'll be leaving the full measurement in my description box and also in my comment section where you can get your accurate measurement now the uh, measurement is in pounds ounces and also in grams now if you want to make this so please i would beg you do not substitute the oils you have to use exactly the same oil that i am using here today because each and every oils have been calculated by their uh, qualities okay as you can see here it says the soap bar quality so if you want to make exactly the same recipe that i'll be making here today you definitely want to use the same soap the same amount nothing more nothing less yes and also also the like uh, quantity the percentage and all of that I'll be leaving that in my description box and if you want to see a video how you can make your own calculation online please leave your comment in my comment section I'll be willing to do so if I have the time now um, we are going to start up here with our measurement with the oils the solid oils I've got the coconut oil here okay and i also have a palm oil here so we are going to do that measurement and i'll bring you guys back once i am done This is my oil, water and lye measured out already. And the next step I want to do is to mix my water and lye solution. And then I would melt my solid oils. But the first thing I want to say here is caution. Please guys, now you have to wear your protective gloves, your goggles, and you want to make sure that your kids and pets are not around during this process i would even prefer you do this outside i had to do this in my kitchen because of the video sake now one other thing i want to point out is you always want to turn your lie into your water not the opposite direction okay guys you always want to make sure that the lie is poured in the water okay guys i'm saying this because from now on the temp the temperature will be very high and this can bubble so the moment you pour your water into the lye solution directly it might bubble and that's not so good yes and also you need to wear your protective clothings you want to make sure you're wearing a long sleeve clothing okay guys
So I've got all my oils measured out, melted already, which is the solid oils and also my liquid oil. And uh, I've got my ice bath there. I created the ice bath for my lye water solution. At this point, it is really hot and I wasn't patient enough. So I decided to create my ice bath. And right here, I have my salt. And salt helps to reduce the temperature of the water lye solution. I'm really sorry, the angle of my camera, you can't really see what I'm doing, but please take note, I am not adding the salt in the water lye solution. I'm adding it in the ice bath. Okay, guys, take note of that. Do not make, do not make that mistake in adding the salt in your lye water solution. Now, like I said, the salt will help to um, calm the temperature of the the lye water solution okay so what i'm doing right now is to just wait check the temperature and see if it's okay i was really in a hurry i wasn't patient enough and that affected my soap in my scream i'll be leaving uh the right temperature you are supposed to have your oils um and also your lye solution because there is a specific, um, not a specific temperature, but it has to be in a very good temperature for you to mix. Now, this affected my soap. At some point, I'm going to show you guys what I did wrong because I wasn't patient enough to wait for the temperature to really drop. So that's not so good. Most especially if you want to add designs, uh, you want to add additive into your uh, soap, you want to make sure that the temperature is in a right um, accurate place. Okay, guys. So, so it's time for me to mix my lye water solution into the oil. And during this process, I want to take my time. I really want to go slow because there is a chemical reaction that takes place once your water lye solution gets into the oil. So you really want to go slow. As you can see, I am taking my time to do that. Yeah, you don't have to be in a hurry during this process. As you can see, there's a cloudiness going on down there. That's because there is a tiny little bit of trace. The moment your water lye solution gets into the oil, that formation starts to take place. So take note of that, guys. So what I like to do after um, the mixture is to use my spatula to mix really well before I go in with my stick blender. Okay, guys, you may want to get a stick blender if you're planning to make soaps because that's the fastest way you can actually reach your trays. Using a spatula will not help at all. It will take you hours to get your trays. So the next thing I want to do right now is to go in with my stick blender. And you want to take note that there will be some kind of um, air bubbles. So you want to tap in your, uh, what is it called, your stick blender to get those air bubbles out before you start your <clears throat> mixture. Just get those air bubbles. Now this is the formation taking place. And as you can see guys, there is a trace already. And I told you guys I wasn't patient enough. Because my uh, light solution was still in a warm state or in a hot state, that's the reason why I could reach my trace really fast. So that's not so good if you're planning to add colors and additive into your soap. You want to make sure you get a very thin trace and you want to make sure that your oil is in the right temperature and also your light water solution is in the right temperature. Now, this is a very thin trace, and um, I'm not going to use a stick blender anymore. I'm just going to stir with a stick blender so I don't get to my trace really fast, which I actually did. At some point, I'm going to show you guys. I was just so smart to save my soap. Otherwise, this soap would have been not so good at all. So this is what we call trace. As you can see, there is a thin uh, trace, not so much. 
Ja. Just gonna stir a little bit with the spatula before I move to my next step. So now I am going to get my containers and also my colors. I'll be using this beautiful colors here. So please check my description box and also my comment section so you can get the full recipe, including the colors that I used. And what I'm going to be doing right now is to <clears throat> separate the colors in my containers. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. And I'm actually using two different colors here. So there is no accurate measurement for this. I'm just eyeballing. <laughs> I'm just eyeballing this measurement. And um, I'm mixing these two beautiful blue colors. Okay. So you can use any color that you want. It doesn't have to be blue. There are so many colors out there that you can buy they are natural colors and i just love to add colors in my soaps it gives it a nice you know look i just love it there's this nice luxuriant kind of look when uh you make your soap with colors so this is the other color and i'm going to put that in my other container yeah So that's one tablespoon in there. I think I did add more. So the next thing I would do is to get some quantity of my liquid and just mix the powders so they can be really smooth. Okay, just some quantity. I wasn't really patient making the soup, honestly, guys. I really didn't take my time to make the soup. But anyways, it came out really nice. I was pleased with it. So I'm just going to use my mini blender here and mix the colors so there won't be any kind of clumpiness. And what I like to do is I like to start with the light color to the dark. You know, so I don't go back and wash my mini blender or my spatula. So always take notes. You have to uh, go in first with the light color and then the dark one.
24 hours the next day this is my soap still baking but this is the right time to cut the soap and this soap is going to take three to six weeks to cure yeah I don't know if you guys can see the sparkles on top of the soap I sprayed some um, what is it called gold sparkles on the top of the soap and I had to do extra design because I wasn't really happy with the design I initially made and like I said I was not uh, patient enough to do the whole process but the soap came out really good and I'm pleased with it but next time I would have to be patient so you guys can really learn um, I'm sorry I had to do a voiceover because there were so much noises here and there in the background and this is what my soap looks like yeah it came out really good I wasn't really expecting for the soap to be this nice because of the whole process I was just seriously guys at this point I am just giving God Almighty the glory for my life and the life of my husband and all the situation going on here and there but um, would manage this um, time and uh, yeah we'll get through all of this so this is it guys now the soap is not for sale mm -mm. <laughs> I'll be giving out the soap but it's not for sale and it smells really nice I did add um, lemongrass and sesha oil which is my first time I'm using uh, lemongrass and I don't think I'm going to be using essential oils to make soups because I think that speed up the whole process and didn't give me enough time to really design the soup the way I wanted it to be so thanks for watching my video if you have any question you want to ask concerning this particular subject please leave your question in my comment section I'll be willing to reply back to you you can follow me on Facebook you can follow me on Instagram I would prefer you follow me on Instagram if you have any private message you want to send to me please send it to me via Instagram if you're a new subscriber you are actually welcome here we do DIYs yes I love to teach people how to do things themselves so you know that whatever you're using you're using 100% natural stuff and um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so do not forget to hit on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time i upload a new video like i will always say if it doesn't feed you do not worry it bye for now guys and stay blessed i love you